Today, we're going to dive into the spicy details of the tumultuous relationship between Karen Chandler and Matt Roloff. You won't believe the twists and turns this story took. If you are a fan of Little People, Big World, you probably already know that Karen and Matt are Libra. Yes, that's right. But even though they share the same zodiac sign, their relationship hasn't been smooth sailing. So let's rewind a bit. Matt Roloff and Amy Roloff, who were married for 27 years, shocked everyone when they announced their divorce in 2015. And guess what happened next? Matt started dating Karen Chandler almost immediately afterwards. Sounds scandalous, doesn't it? Karen had long been working as a manager at Roloff Farms, which made the situation even more awkward for everyone involved, including the fans. But the drama didn't end there. Fast forward to 2022, and the situation in Little People, Big World has really started to heat up. Matt decided to put part of the Roloff farm up for sale without consulting his children. This didn't go down well, especially with Zach, who was hoping to buy part of the farm at a discount. Many fans believe that Karen had a hand in Matt's controversial decision, which only fueled the feud between Matt and Zach. After six long years of dating, Matt and Karen are finally engaged, with their wedding scheduled for late 2024. However, there has been a lot of speculation about Karen's true intentions. Some believe that she is simply after Matt's wealth. Let's dive into why people might think that. Libra Karen Chandler wants the easy life that Matt can provide. Libras are known for their calm and peaceful demeanor, and they are often looking for long-term relationships. But let's not forget that Libras also like the finer things in life. It's no secret that Karina likes the luxurious lifestyle she enjoys while dating Matt. Being an opportunist, she thrives on attention, control, and the illusion of wealth. And given that she once worked on a roll-off farm, Karen knew the family finances inside out. Wanting an easy life, she had no problem continuing her relationship with Matt. Do you think Carol is dating Matt for the money? Or is it true love? Let me know in the comments. Too much Libra energy and it causes problems. One of the biggest problems in Karen and Matt's relationship is their inability to balance each other out. Both Libra, they can be quite selfish and often don't know when to calm down and solve problems. When tension arose between Matt and Zach over the future of the farm, Karen didn't help ease the situation. In fact, she made things worse by turning the sale of the farm into an exclusive business transaction after Matt and Zach's face-to-face -face negotiations had failed. The conflict between father and son led to Zach and his wife Tori leaving the show and the farm, moving to Battleground, Washington. Instead of trying to build a relationship with his children, Matt essentially destroyed the Roloff family. It's like a powder keg ready to explode, and Karen seems to be the right person for it. Matt needs a stronger partner who wants to be closer to his family. Libras can be quite passive-aggressive, which makes their relationship a recipe for disaster. This explains the constant feuding in the Roloff family. Ever since Matt started a relationship with Karen, he started fighting with his children. Zach was particularly hurt when his father proposed to Karen, and he refused to comment when the producers asked him about the engagement. In season 25 of Little People, Big World, Matt and Karen discussed the construction of a playground on their property. They noted that Zach, Tori, and the kids no longer visit them, adding that they don't want to be associated with them. Karen even said, I think we've just accepted the fact that they don't want to have a relationship with us, and we have to accept that. Karen often appears passive-aggressive when discussing anything related to Matt's or Amy's children. During interviews, she smiles slightly and looks down, which can be mistaken for a sweetness. But they should have found a better way to deal with Zach. It's obvious that part of Zach feels let down by Matt and Karen. Instead of leaving things as they are, the couple could try a different approach to keep the family together. Karen is deeply involved in the Roloff family, and Matt needs someone to call him out when he's wrong, 
not just agree with everything he says. Okay, family, that's all for today's tea party. What do you think about this whole situation with Karen, Matt, and the Roloff family? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you never miss an update. And as always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I love reading what you think. Until next time, this has been Julie wrapping up her work with you. Stay fabulous.